This Let's Play features commentary is not age appropriate for this game, so please keep your butthurt comments at a minimum. Enjoy the video! Merry Christmas everybody, this is Josh here, and I'm here to bring you a Let's Play for Christmas. It's Need for Speed Underground 2. Why am I doing this Let's Play again? Well, because I felt like the, that Let's Play was just utter garbage anyway. It was just me screaming for like maybe 10 minutes per episode. So now, what I'm going to do with this new Let's Play is I'm going to go further depth into this game here. So that way, I'll probably get less complaints that they... What I typically get in the Need for Speed Underground 2 as of right now, which is basically on Christmas Eve, the old Need for Speed Underground 2 Let's Play is still up on Christmas Eve, but it'll be deleted by Christmas Day, hopefully. So anyway, so let's just go ahead and get right to it here, and I'll do some further ex explanations when we start a new career here. Posse for you, and I ain't taking no for an answer. What's it gonna be? Hey, the party's kicking, and they want their star. You better get here quick. Take care of a, a little problem. you might want to change things up to help clear your head. Can't say I blame you. Hey, listen, when you get to Bayview, my gal Rachel will hook you up. She's loaned you her ride. It's at the airport waiting. Now it's her baby, so be gentle. Good luck, bro. Be seeing ya.
Hey, how's it going? I'm Rachel, Samantha's friend. I heard your plane finally got in. Well, welcome to Bayview. Hey, if you haven't already guessed it, what you're hearing is the car's short message system, otherwise known as SMS. I don't know if you're familiar with it, so I set it up for first-time use. Read the instructions to find out how it works. Now check out the mini-map. It's simple to use, but make sure you get familiar with it. This is the big city, you know. I need my ride back soon, so meet me at the car lot highlighted on the mini-map. Yo, Rachel! Heads up with some runs for you. Bunch of losers gathering for some racing. Now it's a chance to add some easy coin to your account. I'm sending you the locations right now. I see you there. Hey, Rachel. What up, girl? Word on the wire is that there's some action brewing in Fort Union. I haven't been able to pinpoint the exact location, but you should be able to find them without much problem. My boy said some easy pickings, so I thought you might want in. Good luck. I'm out. Okay, that should about do it for the voicemails for the time being, because I knew I knew that more than likely if I was going to compensate over them, it, sh it was just going to bug me either way. So... Anyway, before I go ahead and I get to the, get to things right here, I just want to mention that there's a section of the game where people have been complaining about me to a lot, where basically Rachel wants her car after you give her back her car. Well, let me just put it this way. 99, I'm pretty sure that 99% of the people who have given me this complaint are PC users, so if you want to go ahead and not experience this glitch, I recommend getting a copy of this game that's not a PC copy. Seriously, just go to Amazon. There's at least maybe 50 copies that are like maybe worth 10 bucks or so, or maybe a little bit lower than that. But anyway, let's just go ahead and get straight to it. And I'm trying to not stop do do, do donuts. That totally makes grammatical sense. Right here we have these little icons that basically give us some helpful hints in the game, which I am never going to read because I know plenty about this game already. I've played through this game at least 10 times just to at least get a good idea of how this game actually works. So, yeah, that's pretty much my frustration in a nutshell with this game. <clears throat> what, what else was I trying to think about? Oh, yes, I love how I love the irony in the short message system. I know it was like, this is in 2004, but like, I just love how it's called short messaging system, and yet all of these text messages look like short English papers. I mean, like, look, like, like, let's see, let's look at, let's look at these, look, this, look at this message right here. This is nowhere near short. I, let me just... I'm just gonna go ahead and just like stop recording this like after I get done with these these little recordings these little recording bits and I'm just gonna see how many characters these take up and see if they, they're actually qualified as actual legit text messages. But enough of my rant. Uh, so first things first, we're gonna go ahead and take care of Rachel's races here. So let's just go ahead and get to it. And here's our first race right here. Hey, step off, man. You think you can roll in here just because you got Rachel's ride? Think again, son. Here's a race route. So, you're basically telling me that I can't join the race, and yeah, you're giving me the race route anyway. So, yeah, that's really, that's really smart of you. That's, you're very smart, sir. Alright, and here we have our very first race type in the game, and that is a circuit. Circuits are basically going around in circles for a set number of laps, and then just, you just finish first, just, you just reach the finish line first, and you basically win. So let's just go ahead and just get to the whole gist of the uh, uh, controls here. We have, uh, we have, uh, let's see, we have your uh, right, your left stick as your steering mechanism, and you have the X button to accelerate and the square button to uh, brake and go to reverse. Um, uh, uh, but let, let, let me just say, let me just put it this way: I'm using the right stick as my accelerator and my brake. When you want to use the right stick. You, you uh, go up on the right stick, and if you want to uh, use the brake, then you go down the right stick. It's just it's just as simple as that. Uh, the R1 button is your hand brake, so basically if you want to do like some sharp turns, then that could be really useful. The L1 is your nitrous when, when you go ahead and install it, so you just hold it and it'll just unleash a nice little burst of energy right there. That's basically your boost for the game. And uh, if you're using manual transmission, which I'm not, I'm using automatic, so yeah, don't be, don't complain about it at all. Uh, basically, uh, when you want to shift down, you use L2, and you want, when you want to shift up, that's, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I got, I'm, uh, 
salivating for some reason. I don't know why. Pro probably because I'm talking too much in one sentence. But anyway, when you want to shift down, you use L2, and when you use uh, when you want to shift up, you use R2. So that's that's pretty much the whole gist of it as far as racing mechanics go. Oh yes, and uh, triangle switches your main view. You have like about four views in the game. And you use the circle button to look back to your opponents, which I don't know why you would, because most of the time you're just going to crash into a wall if you're not too careful. But anyway, that about does it for uh, racing mechanics in this game, so I'll just go ahead and see you guys when I finish the circuit here. <sighs> and there we have it! That is our first circuit race of the game, finished in three minutes. And there is no crowd to celebrate us, so maybe that's because we're using someone else's car, that's... That's more than likely not going to be liked by very many people, but who cares? We finished the ra our first race in first place! Woo! No one cares. Hey dude, what's the holdup? You lost or something? The car lot is on the mini-map. Hurry up and get over here. I don't have all night. Haha, <laughs> silly women and their trust issues. <laughs> I had to go there. Anyway, uh, that was my new ringtone, so basically within the two months of my absence, I've been busy making Pokemon ringtones, so yeah, that's, pr that's pretty much the whole, that's pretty much my uh, uh, two-month break in a nutshell. Anyway, we have our next uh, uh, race type here, and that is a sprint. Hey, what are you doing in Rachel's ride? Oh, you're that dude I heard about. Well, let's welcome you the right way. The map is going to show you the course, all-out sprint. See you at the end. Yes, I am that dude that everybody's been hearing about. The middle-aged man that has been taking on all of the swag fags in the Bayview and the Overlots world, or whatever the hell that world was called in the first Underground. I don't like that game anyway. Alright, next race type is a sprint. And this guy is in a 350Z. He's trying to impersonate Rachel's car. What are you trying to do, impersonate Rachel's car? Okay, put it this way, you're accusing me of driving around Rachel's car, and yet you're trying to make a car that looks like Rachel's car. So why are you any better than me? Okay, maybe it's because I'm in a, a ride that's not mine, but you know how it goes! Fuck you all! So anyway, the next uh, race type that we have here is a sprint. And basically, sprints are, are kind of like circuits. You basically go, you have a fin you have a finish line to go to, but unlike in, but unlike from circuits, you basically have you have to go from point A to point B. So it's not in a set amount of laps. There's point A from point B, which is actually a little bit more tolerable in circuits because, tr like, trust me, you're gonna see me go through a ton of circuit races. There, are, this game is literally littered, littered, just littered. Yeah, that's a lot of times they litter, but this game is going to be just going to be shoving circuit races at you like nuts. It's, it's, it's going to get old really fast when it comes to these cir the circuit races. So, sprint races are pretty much a little bit of a break from that. You, They definitely go by a lot quicker than circuits, so yeah, simply put. Also, you should notice that my alias is a little bit weird this time. It's unlike Kenny, which I've been doing over the past uh, two Neef Speed uh, Need for Speed Let's Plays. It used to be Kenny, but now it, I'm just gonna go with some guy because, let's face it, we really don't know this guy's name, and we can just name him all, he, all, all we want to. So I'm just gonna call him some guy because we really don't know what his name really is. As far as I'm concerned, I think some guy was a, I think some guy was a skit in Cheap the Big City. If anyone actually remembers that show, I don't know. I I could be wrong, so maybe I should like spend my Christmas Eve watching reruns of Sheep in the Big City. Good luck, Google, for me to find those episodes or whatever. I don't know. Anyway, let's go ahead and get back to the free room and piss Rachel off even more. Hey man, I want my car back. You better haul over here ASAP or I'm putting the word out on you. And that means no more racing till I say so. Get over here, now. Uh-oh, I made her mad. What shall I do? Okay, I'll listen to her. There's really nothing more to do in this world anyway once you have Rachel's car. There's literally no there's literally no races to do. You can all, you could outrun people by actually I actually haven't tried it out yet, so yeah, I don't think I don't think it really matters. So uh, damn I did not read that text message. Or these short message systems, which are pretty much the most ironic things I have just ever witnessed in this game. Oh oh yeah. 
And we also have some free remote controls I haven't gone over yet. So basically, you just go up and down the D-pad to select a destination, then you just hit X to select it. And it's gonna ask you to, uh, to engage your GPS system. And let me just point this out, this GPS system is more broken than I could possibly imagine a GPS system to be, be broken. I mean, like, I have seen many GPS systems in many cars. I have seen GPS's they can buy on your own. GPS's they can that come with your new Honda. But I have never seen a GPS this dysfunctional as GPS is in real life. Trust me, this GPS is gonna have very many retarded moments in this game, and you'll probably see why as the less play, less play progresses. So, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. Anyway, we are here at the car lot, and there should be a bank reward here, which is another little type of thing that we can find in free roam. Basically, it's just freebie cash. Also, you should note that the uh, little hints that you can get throughout the uh, area, which is these little those little red icons that we keep picking up, those will give us like maybe half of what the uh, what the bank rewards will actually give you. So that's actually good to uh, get some bank as well. But anyway, let's go ahead and see Rachel finally. single mark on it. Um... Sam claims you can drive. Maybe so, but you ain't using my ride. Use your cash to pick out a set of wheels. I'll call you later. Oh, hey, I forgot. Samantha called. Your insurance payout just came through, so she wired it over. This should be enough to cover the cost of any one of these rides. I'll check in with you later. All right, and here we have the car lot, which is basically where we get our new cars whenever we have the opportunity to go ahead and get a new car. So, yeah, simply put. Let me go ahead and get into the stats of these bad boys here. First, we have the Puget... Pug Pug you know what? I give up on pronouncing these foreign car names. I'm just gonna pronounce them my own way now. Just, just fuck your foreign per per pronunciations. Right here we have the Pooper Scooper 206. At stock level, it looks like this, but with max out performance, it's gonna look something like this. So it's it's all right. Next up, we have the Ford Focus, which if it appeared, that's yeah. There we go. Here's what it looks like at stock level, and here's what it looks like with max out performance. So, so it's pretty much the uh, fastest car that we can get in, uh, in this uh, stage here. Next, we have the Toyota Corolla. I doubt I pronounced that right, but who cares? Here's what it looks like at stock performance, and now here it is at max stock performance. Not too, not too special, but it'll do either way. Next up, we have the Nissan 240SX, which is a pretty popular choice among some people. Here's what it looks like at stock level, and here's what it looks like with max stock performance. It's pretty. It's a pretty good car. Next up is the Mazda Miata MX-5. That was quite the mouthful right there, and it was also my very first car choice when I wanted to work on this game here. So yeah, right here we have the stock performance, and right here we have the maxed out performance. It's a pretty well balanced car. And finally, we have the Honda Civic, which here is the ma the, st the stock performance, and here's what it looks like when, it ma when it's maxed out. So. Basically, all these cars, they can do really well when they're maxed out, and you can basically just clear this game with just this one car they decide to choose, because all of them are going to be pretty pretty, pretty beastly at performance anyway. So, yeah, there's no complaint there. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and stick with the Focus, since it's the best of the group. Alright, now that you got yourself a set of wheels, head over to my garage. And don't bother looking for races, because there's nothing going on. Don't keep me waiting again. See you there. 
Well, Rachel's gonna be really hard to keep you waiting when I'm in a car that can't even outdo your that can that can't outdo your performance. I mean, seriously, this is like this is just a really slow transition to go to. This is like a horrible trade-off. Well, then again, it is sort of fair. I have used your I have used your ride to do all the races that I can currently do. And I do apologize for that. It's just that I live in the real world, and you live in the video game world. So, I must do my own duties. Not duties, duties. So, I have my own, I have my missions, you have yours. Which is very limited because you can't live a life outside your game. Which is very pitiful, but I do not care. Because this game is getting so old to me that I just, I just don't fucking care anymore. Anyway, we here we have the garage, the only location in this game that is purple. How I hate the color purple. Personal issues, that's why. But anyway, let's go ahead and get right into it. Let me give you the 411. Everything in the Bayview race scene goes through me. And if you haven't noticed yet, it's the place to be. The race scene here is big. Whatever you like, you can find it, if you know where to look. Drag, drift, circuits, and way more. The scene runs so deep, we're racing in places you wouldn't believe. Of course, with that comes an opportunity for some serious money. Best of all, there's an invitation-only series called the Underground Racing League for the elite driver, where the coin and the props are off the hook. All it takes is the right cred and the proper connections. Remember, this is my town. You're a guest, so max respect. Round back is Tommy. He's a wizard under the hood. He'll hook you up. Hey, dude. Rachel set it up so you can handle all your business out of the garage. She set aside some room for you. Come on, I'll show you where you can store your rides. Yo, here we are. Your own personal space. You can lay out all your parts and gear here. There's also some tools in the back so you can custom tune your ride. So, yeah, this is a pretty... Just... This... An underused thing in the game here. Right here... Basically, your garage is where you can keep all your rides. You can transition into to whatever you want to do it. So let me just go ahead and get to each little section here. We have Return to Explore mode, which is basically just getting back to where you're going in the first place. We have Car Select, which basically we can just go ahead and choose from different cars. And these slots are just locked for the current moment because, well, we do not have the current thing that can help us get more cars, which I'll probably get into by maybe part two or part three. So, right here we have the change parts section, which basically we can just go ahead and swap our parts parts out, so that way if we bought more than one thing of some specific part, which I hope that you don't do because you're probably just going to need just one uh, version of your part anyway, so I th there's really no point in going over here. Right here we have the performance tuning slash dyno, which is actually where I got my, my performance information at first, but then I realized I just went ahead and tuned these cards out myself, and it turns out that this thing is a huge fucking liar. So, basically, I'm just giving you two versions of notes. I'm giving you versions of what the game wants you to believe, and no ver uh, versions of the notes that I want you to, to believe. So, yeah, simply put. Right here we have View Sign Sponsors, which we're not going to get into until maybe part three, I believe. And right here we can manually save our game if we wanted to. And right here we have we can go back to the main menu if we want to, if you're really sick of this game, which I'm pretty sure that if you're like me, you're gonna get sick of it pretty easily. So anyway, I do apologize for the very long episode, but I had to get a lot of information out of there. So I'm just glad that it's a lot more informative than what it was last time. So yeah. Anyway, next time on Need for Speed Underground 2, we're gonna go ahead and find some shops, go over the races of stage one, and that's pretty much all there is to it. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.